एड सर्वाइवल वी आर ट्राइंग सो वट इज ट्राइड इन दिस इंप्रूवमेंट ऑफ सर्वाइवल दिस से इफ द पेशेंट इज हार्मोन रिसेप्टर पॉजिटिव इफ द पेशेंट इज हार्मोन रिसेप्टर पॉजिटिव वी शुड बी गिविंग टू इंप्रूव सर्वाइवल हार्मोन थेरेपी नाउ वी ऑल नो बाय नाउ द कंसेप्ट ऑफ हार्मोन थेरेपी अ प्री मिनोपोजल पेशेंट विद अ फैमिली कंप्लीटेड वी गिव जी एन आर एच एनोलॉग विद अनोमेटिस इनिबिटर्स प्री मिनोपोजल पेशेंट फैमिली नॉट कंप्लीटेड और नो इन्फॉर्मेशन वी गिव टेमोक्सीफेन और रिलॉक्सीफेन वी कॉमनली गिव टेमोक्सीफेन इन पोस्ट मिनोपोजल वी गिव एरोमेटिस इनिबिटर दैट इज यूट्रोजोल वी नो दैट सो द गाइडलाइन सेज इफ इन हार्मोन थेरेपी because of some reason if you are giving a aromatase inhibitor then only if for some reason you are giving a aromatase inhibitor that is lutrazole when to give a lutrazole you know that now in premenopausal postmenopausal always so if you are giving aromatase inhibitor then they say you should be adding cdk4 or 6 inhibitor also in this and that is palbocisilib cisilib or ribocyclib we commonly used we commonly use palbocyclib so we commonly use palbocyclib but there is no point what is to understand here there is no point the guidelines says of adding palbocyclib with tamoxifen if you are for some reason giving tamoxifen in hormone therapy there is no point adding palbocyclib the palbocyclib addition with aromatase inhibitor they found that it probably helps in improving survival right but otherwise tamoxifen if you are giving no need to add palbocyclib but if the patient is either er pr negative or patient is refractory the patient metastasis metastasis are refractory to hormone therapy or if the patient is having a visceral crisis happening visceral crisis happening due to the advanced disease then in that case we offer a chemotherapy to the patient then in that case we offer a chemotherapy to the patient and in both these situations along with these drugs depending on erpr status and these indications if patient is her to new positive if the patient is her to new over expressed we may need to add monoclonal antibody pertuzumab and a trans to zoom up along with m tensin right and if the patient is resistant to if the patient is if the patient is resistant to monoclonal antibody that is trans to zoom up and per to zoom up then we may need to replace it with a newer drug called leptinib we may need to replace it to a newer drug called leptinib so if the patient is not responding with this we may then add leptinib so monoclonal antibody along with that we add m10 sin please correct that in our previous discussion also where i probably said m mn sin right it is m10 sin right so this is a treatment of a advanced breast cancer